Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your singles love reading for Pisces. How are you guys doing? Pisces, Pisces. This is a new love connections, prospects, who's interested in you or vice versa. I will read it as incoming and you can flip the energy. Pisces, what does Pisces need to know? There we go. Oh, you got someone here. Someone is kind of focused on themselves. You know, they may come in very charming, very enthusiastic, but this is someone who probably doesn't stick around. Here for a good time, not a long time. They may just be younger than you two. They may be very flirty. And so you may have a choice. Yeah, so some of you may have a choice. There's a decision with judgment. <laughs> Now, I think you're going to make a decision here. Uh, some of you may have a Libra energy around you. You have a choice here, okay, between two. Yeah, you got someone who's a little emotionally detached. I actually think you're going to let them go. I think you're going to release this person, someone who's here for a good time, not a long time, kind of immature, just focused on themselves. They, I feel like they probably talk a lot about themselves. They're probably fun, Maybe even charming and maybe even enthusiastic, but I feel there's something about them. They're a little bit emotionally detached. I think you're going to detach yourself from them. Yeah, I see somebody else here. I see a Taurus energy. Yeah, I don't think you have faith in this person. So let's hope there's another for Pisces. New love connections, new love prospects. Who's interested in you? Yeah, you're ending a cycle. Things are about to start going in your favor. I feel as though, yeah, you got someone here I don't think is faithful, okay? I, I really don't. <laughs> uh, I feel as though it's over, but things are going to move in your favor because you're going to make a good decision. You're going to make a good judgment here. So, yeah, I see you manifesting, having all the tools you need to manifest. Somebody's manifesting you. It could be a Gemini, a Taurus. Uh, you could be ending things with the Taurus. I see Aries, Leo, Sag, though. I see Libra energy, but it really is just the energy. Uh, the judgment is making a decision to uh, make a choice between two people uh, to end a situation with someone who's really not faithful. They're really not going to stick around. You may actually judge this person and kind of pick up on that a little bit. Uh, I see things ending, but it's going to move you forward. So I feel like there's this manifesting energy. It could be a Gemini, a Virgo, really could be anyone. So this is you having all the tools you need, okay, making this decision to let go of somebody. So there's this lovely energy. Yeah, this is a choice between two, whether someone's right for you or not. You may be choosing somebody different, but I actually feel like you have someone around you who sees you different than their usual type as well. So I, I'm glad if you are ending some, with someone who's kind of all about themselves. I don't think they have ill intentions. I just think this person's not ready for a committed, faithful relationship. It's how they conduct themselves. One foot in the door and out energy beyond. This is, I mean, enthusiastic, charming, playful, flirty, probably have a good sense of humor. They likely talk a lot about themselves, though. That's what I feel. But they are it's like they're detached. They're not connecting with you right? I, I don't think you're getting each other. I don't even think you're on the same page or the same age for that matter. So I see you having all the tools you need to manifest what you want. So I do feel that there is another person here. You do have everything you need to make things go in your favor. And because you're going to end this cycle, okay, things will go in your favor. Yeah, you've got somebody, there's definitely, I see a Leo and a Sag energy. Uh, I feel this is somebody here who's kind of looking at you. You are different than their usual type. Uh, I feel you may see that. There's definitely some chemistry here. This person has everything they need. So I feel they're, you know, somebody very wise, intelligent. I feel this is somebody who wants things to go in their favor. So they're going to manifest this. They're a little bit cautious. I feel this is somebody who's taming that beast within themselves as well. Okay, this is somebody who knows. There, I feel like you got a mature person here. Someone is looking at you different than their usual type. I feel this is someone who probably had a type. This could be them leaving someone immature behind as well, detaching, making a decision someone's not right for them. Right, this is a lack of faith, but I feel like someone here is gaining that confidence. Uh, to come towards you, or they see you as strong and confident. So beautiful energy, though. This is someone who's going to try something different. There's something a little different about you. They're, they feel that pull, you see. 
Uh, there's a connection of some kind, that pull. Uh, it could be yourself as well. But it's taming the beast within yourself, being a little bit patient. Let this person manifest you, okay? Uh, this person that's coming around you here, this after this cycle ends. Pisces. Yeah, so there's some cancer energy. Yeah, this could take off pretty quick. Some of you are definitely finding the strength to end a cycle with someone who's manipulating, not faithful. You're making this decision. Things are going to start to go in your favor. But I do see some kind of chemistry, some kind of attraction. Somebody feels very drawn to you. You're different than the usual type. So you've got somebody kind of intrigued here. I feel this person will come towards you. I do feel that they are they're very much in control of themselves, right? They're not they're not going to control things. <laughs> so someone who has the tools, the knowledge, the wisdom, they, you know, they're emotionally stable. They got it all, right? This is someone who's got all the tools. Yeah, very nice. Okay, let's see who they are. It's, it looks like it's at the very early stages. Tell me about this page of wands. Yeah, so this is somebody who keeps coming back around. So you're going to end this cycle. Yeah, you're ending it. You're moving on here. Uh, it's time for change. You're moving on a new path with somebody else, somebody more compatible, someone on the same page and same path. Nice. You're making this decision. I feel like someone else is making a decision as well. Uh, they could be the one letting go of someone they're not compatible with. It really could be them if it's not you. Tell me about the Two of Wands. They'll tell you about it, I'm sure. Yeah, so Two of Cups, pardon me. So I feel as though there's definitely uh, this connection. I feel like you're going to connect with someone where you're very much alike. That's what you want. That's where you're headed. And I think you've got this person who's making that decision to, this is a choice about faith, about commitment. I feel like you likely have this person who sees you as, you know, somebody they connect with, someone that, you know, you have things in common, your lifestyles are similar. There we go. Yeah. So this is somebody who's releasing uh, somebody else. It may have been someone that they were friends with or they have this connection, but I feel like there's just a, this detachment, uh, this letting go. So I feel this is definitely someone who sees you as a star because they're making this decision to, to let go of someone to come towards you. So they may be kind of weighing the pros and the cons, kind of comparing the two of you. This could be yourself as well, Pisces, making this decision. You could be comparing two people. You may have a couple people you're connected to. Uh, you need to make a choice, though, I feel. This is manifesting. You may have a couple people that are similar. You may be comparing them because maybe they mirror each other somewhat or you're mirroring this other person. That's what it kind of looks like, <laughs> back and forth energy. Tell me about this Hierophant. There we go. Yeah, so a little guarded defensive. Some of you definitely are going off on a new path. You're ending a cycle, maybe even blocking somebody. Uh, you may stand up to them a bit. But it could be just, you know, where there's this guarded, you, where you can't take, you have no, you don't have faith in them. You can't take your guard around, down somebody, around someone. You may not even feel comfortable with them by the looks of it. No, but there's definitely, it could be just someone who's a friend. Maybe you're just friend zoning somebody. But I see you ending something, and I see something evolving between you and another person where you actually connect. Uh, you may be kind of comparing them and starting to see, um, you know, that they have things that are the same, but yet they're different. Okay, so it's telling you to watch that energy. Yeah, so I feel there's definitely... Uh, this little bit of fear of somebody not being faithful. Like there's something off about someone. So it's telling you to, some of you are afraid to take your guard down or you have somebody who is. I see this Cancer Pisces energy. I see that Aquarius and Gemini. Tell me about the 10. Whoops. There we go. Oh yeah, there we are. So this person may have cancer in their chart. So yeah, they're ending a cycle with someone and they're manifesting new. So I feel that they're heading in your direction. A little bit of a push-pull. 
But I feel as though this is somebody who's very much in control of their emotions, you see, with that chariot. They're not letting them get the best of them, and it's telling you to do the same. Uh, something is finished here because there's this guarded defense of you not believing someone's faithful. I don't know why and what's happened, but it doesn't matter. I'm not going to dig into the past anymore. I feel like that's a choice. So, And that's up to you. So there you are. Yeah. So you're keeping something to yourself. You're manifesting. Um somebody i feel like you're just trusting your intuition this is about being comfortable with someone if you it feels right go for it so whoever it is that makes you feel the most comfortable uh, that's where you're headed but this person i feel like they feel comfortable with you they're moving towards you yeah we have some empress energy there you go pisces stay in your empress energy you have all the tools you need lovely so somebody who sees you as this empress, they're, you're grounded, nurturing, and loving. They may feel like you're a little secretive, but I think it's that mystery. I think this person wants to get to know your mysteries. There's something mysterious here about you. Uh, this is somebody who, you have all the tools. You can manifest this. Stay, stay in that energy. Let this person come towards you. Uh, I see that energy right here. This person's going to uh, stay in control of yourself here. You actually have the power to control this situation. I can't, uh, this is crazy energy. Oh yeah, this person definitely is... Uh, very this person's emotionally mature available does look like they could have cancer in their chart they don't have to it could be just their energy you're different uh, than their usual type they're going to try something different as well they're going to rein in and control their emotions as well you definitely are acting very mysterious keeping things to yourself kind of sticking to yourself you're you this is the birth of something new this is you doing something different too <laughs> you got you're drawing this person you're pulling this person towards you there you're drawing them in by using your strength to tame the beast okay i love this reading oh my gosh this person's kind of push pull they're not really sure what to do but i do feel they are rushing away from something and heading your way but you see these this is raining it in raining in that using the power they have to control themselves the speed at which they come in this person's trying to try something different. I think they're very emotional. Uh, I feel that this is someone who generally lets their emotions get carried away, but they're also going to try something different. So I do think there's a very much an attraction, uh, this pull towards each other. Uh, this is somebody who's definitely going to put the work in. Could be somebody that you work with. They may work on cars or something too. Uh, I feel this person's quite physically strong, a very hard worker, but de definitely have that emotional side. They are a little cautious, okay, uh, possibly because of a past relationship by the looks of it. I feel like you'll share these things. You'll share things about yourselves together. Uh, they'll let you know, and then that's how you're probably going to know because they're letting go of somebody who's just not right for them. Uh, they may be just younger, immature, <laughs> okay. Yeah, someone who talks a lot or talks too much. <laughs> yeah, let's see with this chariot energy. Oh yeah, this person's coming in to take control, full steam ahead. I think I think this is someone who um, really is trying to do things the right way. They're trying to control themselves. They feel this energy to. This is somebody who generally, I think, opens up. They let their emotions get the best of them, but they're not going to do that with you. Um, because, But I feel like they're so drawn to you because there's these mysteries. You're keeping things to yourself. See, the mysteries of the Empress. This person wants to discover more about you. Uh, this manifesting. You have the power here. You have the tools to pull this person in. Use it. Oh, yeah. This person's very much taming the beast, controlling their passions, emotions. They do want to rush towards you, let me tell you. There's definitely some chemistry, but there's something, they're going to try something different. They're going to tame the beast. They don't want to be rejected, <laughs> no. See, they know. Tame the beast. Slow down a little bit about that passionate connection. So I do feel they could have Aries, Leo, Sag. I actually feel for some of you, they could be a Scorpio. Uh, possibly i see taurus and libra energy aquarius but it's just the energy that you see a lot of times in love readings 
Uh, people go through these emotions and these energies when they meet someone. Uh, but I do feel it could be yourself that's, you know, thinking about releasing someone as well. It may not be them. They may This person may kind of come towards you. Maybe you feel like they're controlling their emotions too much. Uh, so you're staying in the Empress energy. So that you may compare them to someone else because they may have similarities. But this person's different at saying so. They're different than the other person. Okay, and you will see those differences. They like you. They're drawn to you. You are different because, and the reason is because you're respecting yourself. You got someone here. I feel that they're dating someone who doesn't respect themselves. They don't really love themselves first. There's something off. I don't think they're very turned on to that person. The chemistry, uh, it it may have been there originally, but it's certainly not. So, and it may also be yourself. But this is somebody who's, you know, they're very careful what to believe. Very guarded. Uh, I do feel like that. There was a lack of faith in the situation. Well, this person had some fears with this other person, but I do think they have a few fears with yourself as well, but they're going to rein that in. And I feel, let me see what this chariot has to say. It's taken a lot of strength for this person to end this, for, and they want things to go in their favor. They need to rein it in. They get need to get all their emotions, feelings, all their energy going in one direction. That's that path, right? That's getting ready to go on the path, keeping on a steady course here. Yeah, they're doing a little soul searching. This person's kind of going within, doing a little bit of soul searching here about their the way they control their feelings, not letting them get out of control. Uh, so I do feel they're going to try to just sort of tone it down. See, this is someone who's just, I think, has just a very emotional person. They're not afraid to share them. Uh, but I feel like maybe they've had situations where maybe they kind of just, this is someone who just a lot of times will come in. They're either one way or the other because it's going in two different directions. They either use all the power they have to not share their feelings to the point where they burst and they become very moody with that moon, you see, or they just come on very strong emotionally. But I don't think they're going to do that. This person's on this journey here. I do think they're kind of going within, shining a light on, on themselves here about ending this, uh, not doing things that way because they want things to go in their favor. So it's not easy for this person to tame the beast either. They're working really hard. It's not going to be easy. They want this to work. I do think this person is very physically attractive. Uh, I do think this person is a hard worker. I do feel for some of you, they definitely work on cars or fix cars or they build something. A very creative person. Uh, I do think this person knows they will be rejected if they don't rein it in, if they try to come on too strong, even physically. Okay, so see, they're tempering it so they don't get rejected. They do not want to get rejected. So this is your person. This is their personality. Now, I feel they'll share some of their something with you here, but I, do, I think they will keep the rest of themselves. You may sense it. So just stay where you're at here with this Empress energy. Be mysterious. Let this person discover you. You're mad. This is how you're going to manifest this person. Uh, and you're, you know, it's also an energy of teaching somebody how you want to be treated. But this person sees your energy. They see what you have to offer. Uh, this empress, you know, loving and nurturing, caring, you're very grounded. It's the birth of something new. See, you're somebody new to them, a new experience. Whew. This person's got a lot of willpower. Like, they are so going to rein it in. And they, trust me, they don't want to, but they know they have to. Because uh, you want this person to come towards you. You want them to manifest you. But you're actually the one manifesting it by drawing them in this is why this card is like this it's about drawing that person towards you right by being strong taming your beast <laughs> within oh my goodness look it's like twice here we got the chariot twice and we got the strength card twice that's crazy yeah there we go <laughs> see that's your message rein it in tame the beast hold back be the empress let this person come towards you let them manifest you okay um, anybody who puts a lot of work in like that and goes to that trouble you can tell it's somebody who um, is just right like it's not going to be easy for this person to temper their passions they are very uh, I, I would have to say very sexual um, but they know they're going to be rejected you see if they don't if they try to rush you 
I do think there's going to be a lot of chemistry. It's not going to be easy. <laughs> Taming the beast, being patient, waiting. So someone who may not have done that in the past and, and has been rejected by other people. So they're on that journey. So yeah, they want to offer you this pentacle. They want to plant the seed, you see. They want something solid. They want to show you that they're serious, that they're invested, that they want to put the work in. This is your person. This is something you've been waiting for. This could be the one, you know, your ships may be here. And I feel you're going to find this person very sexy, very attractive. And I, and I do think that you're going to recognize the strength this person is. Because they are very attracted to you, there's no doubt. It's going to be vice versa. You may also have to tame the beast within yourself here. After some dates here. And I feel like that would be in your best... Uh, that would be the best thing to do with this person. Is make them put the effort in. Make them work for it. Okay. Um, tell me about the Empress. Yeah, see, there's that energy. I see you working towards something that's bringing you a lot of success. I think some of you... Um, wow. Some of you are freeing yourself from somebody, but I do feel like you're moving towards something successful, and this is why you're doing it. Stay mysterious. Trust your intuition. It's going to tell you all these things about this person. I think you're going to get them. Pisces, you can become a psychic at times. You can get it, right? You know. When your intuition tells you you're going to reach success by doing this, just manifest it. Uh, very beautiful. Yeah, Oof, there's going to be a strong connection in chemistry. Yeah, this is about going the distance, right? Making this person go the distance too. Making them work for it uh, is going to take you that full distance with this person. And that's what you want to make sure of. But they also want to know that with you. But they know if they don't, if they want to get rejected. All they have to do is start pushing, start trying to control things. And then they will be, they got to not lose control of their passion. So here you are poised and ready. This person's got you on a pedestal, I can tell you. They really, really see your worth and your value. Uh, I do feel that they're care comparing you to somebody else as well. That's just not on the same page. You're so different. You know, it may even feel, because of this energy here, it may seem a little too good to be true to this person. So this is going to be really hard for them. But uh, I do feel... I, you know, I got to tell you, for a lot of you, I feel this is somebody who's kind of a blue-collar worker. Like I said, they work on cars or they build things or they're creative. They could be into arts and things, too. Um, I do think this is somebody who isn't very good at being patient. Like, they're generally somebody who's in a hurry. They just want to get that attention. Um, but you aren't going to chase this person. They're going to have to chase you. There's just no other way. It's going to, it just won't work any other way, uh, especially for you. So you are poised and ready. <laughs> this person absolutely is going to be adoring you. Um, they've got you on this pedestal. Oh my goodness. Keep yourself there. It's giving you a heads up to be poised, to be ready, to be your best self. This is raising your vibration, doing what's right for yourself. There's this new life. See, this is a new person coming in. This is something new. You're also going to try this. It's not going to be easy for both of you. So I wish you the best in this. This is like, really, I mean, I could have done this reading in two minutes, but I really needed to push home this point of how important it was and to recognize the strength and the patience that this person is going to do to earn your trust, all right, to work for you, to show you that they're serious, that they want to build something. You see, they want to go down this path. This is a soul-searching journey, this person. This is the path they're choosing. This is something you've been waiting for. This could be very well worth it, the one, okay? So take care. Wishing you guys that you don't have to hold back for too long. But you know what? Make them work. Make this person earn it. And it will do well for them, too. Uh, it's sort of like, um, I don't, I'm not saying a crossroads situation, um, but it's almost like this energy where a lot of you have had a lot of dates, you've dated a lot of people, it never seems to work out. You always end up 
uh, with false victories. So it's about trying something new. And it's not just for you, it's this person as well. They are maybe a bit needy too emotionally too quick with people and kind of scare them away. Uh, and then once they get go through that energy, there's this energy where they need to rein in their passions as well. They need to get their passion under control that need to rush, okay? So that's what's so important. So take care. I wish you guys the best. This could actually go the distance, okay? So nice energy. Bye for now, guys.